Hello everyone, this is Crota giving you a shoutcast between Knight End and White Raw here on Scrap Station. This is going to be a Protoss vs Protoss mirror match here on Scrap Station. White Raw spawning as the purple Protoss player down over here at the 3 o'clock position. Meanwhile, we have Knight End spawning as the red Protoss player over here now dropping down a, a pylon. We'll see what's really going to be happening here. Is White Raw really going to try to do some sort of proxy proxy pylon and w will night end be able to see it i'm not sure if night end no night end not able to see this proxy pylon so that is a definite definite a change in strategy so we'll see if white raw will be able to pull this strategy off and what it's really going to be happening white raw is definitely really really behind now in terms of minerals or in terms of minerals as he does not have a pylon up and running so night end definitely getting what 12 supply as opposed to uh, or white raw is okay give me one moment all right i went ahead and i started preloading the video so hopefully you guys didn't notice too much of a jump in that video anyways white raw now moving around and um, night end's got to be suspicious of something there is nothing in this base over here with night end just trying to run around with that single probe trying to figure out what exactly that strategy is and using that chrono boost so we'll see what exactly happens with this gateway coming back over here we have an uh, we have a gateway now a secondary gateway putting it up by night end so night end must realize that something is wrong does a quick look makes sees that there is nothing down over here by these mineral fields didn't check up on this high ground, but still waiting to see what the exact strategy is in fact going to be. White Raw cannot lose this probe though. Definitely needs that probe in order to build some additional gateways. Secondary pylon now up and running. Taking a look back over here, however, gateway already up and running and we'll, we will be getting some some uh, chrono boost zealots coming into play so coming back over here we see the probe now kind of trying to run up this ramp trying to see where exactly this this pylon and this proxy gateway in fact is taking a look back over here now out comes one single zealot a second zealot now coming out underway as well with that chrono boost as that first zealot now coming out for night and night and definitely needs to start using this chrono boost in order to start producing more and more zealots taking a look back over here not enough energy on um, white raw's single um, gateway now in comes a zealot zealot now trying to take down some of these probes one probe getting taken down can he get two probes yeah able to get two probes and now trying to pull back out with that one zealot zealot now just running around in there trying to get some more uh, more attacks in or just trying to do more damage so at the back comes this zealot one zealot back over here perhaps there's gonna be an engagement no no engagement as those two zealots now running back away night end is in a very very strong position at this stage in the game as there's nothing that really white raw can really do now trying to warp in some additional gateways as well back in his base but he really needs a, a warp gate in order to really really give him any real straight advantage a single a zealot now sitting over here we'll see if that probe has still been able to see where exactly that uh, proxy gateway is and he does not see that proxy gateway as that is very very and that is hidden very very well coming back over here with more zealots now once again a single zealot now running back in to perhaps try to take down some more of these probes probes once again being moved back away no vespian guys are being upgraded yet or, or sorry no assimilator being used yet as more zealots trying to take down more probes two zealots once again getting taken down taking a look at the harvester count night end is down to 11 harvesters compared to white raw's 18 so wow definite change of events as white raw now has the economic advantage now sitting on 20 probes and still producing mass mass zealots still a still a little bit interesting and a strange strategy these zealots are once again going to be moving back out gonna go ahead over here see that there is in fact this gateway gonna go ahead and try to take down that pylon and then finish taking down this last gateway so a little bit of an interesting strategy coming back over here we'll see yeah that gateway now going to be taken down night and moving out with those zealots and now a single probe going to be coming up. There's three zealots sitting off over here at the front door. Down goes that probe. Taking a look at the army sizes. Knight and seen on 700 or 7 zealots versus right Raw's, White Raw's 500. Do not see a cybernetics core yet. So no the definite delay in the cybernetics core. A, an additional gateway being produced. No, no chrono boost not being used. We'll see what exactly this probe is going to be doing at this stage in the game. Seven zealots once again moving back out. Cyber or 
Cybernetics Core now being put into play. Knight and now getting an Assimilator up, tr perhaps trying to um, change up the strategy a little bit. Zealot, or is P P Pepe the Probe, now just moving around, just trying to do some scouting. And we'll see how this is really going to work. It's going to be a straight Zealot versus Zealot battle. But there is, in fact, what, not 8 Zealots versus 7. And that is going to be a definite advantage for White Raw, just in pure numbers, as those units are going to have the ability to start surrounding other units more easily. A little bit of a little dance back and forth. Oh, going to get a surround off. No, no surround off on that Zealot. So one Zealot is going to be trying to run into that backside, trying to take down some of those probes as more Zealots once again reinforcing that front side. Two Zealots being moved off to that backside. Zealots trying to come in, trying to do a little bit of engagement. And that one Zealot just being microed by Night End very, very well, trying to just dance away back and forth. Taking a look, Cybernex Core finally coming into play. That Zealot down to 28 damage, but that one low hit point or low shield Zealot will still probably not suffer any real casual or damage at this stage in the game. Another Zealot once again moving back out and taking a look. Where are those Zealots? Zealots sitting by the Zelnaga Watchtower in order to grab some additional sight. Taking a look back over here. Zealots still weaving and zigging and zagging through that positioning. A warp gate now being researched. I Do I see any sentries? Yes, a sentry now being um, warped in as well. So those sentries going to be able to use that force field. And I expect this game to be determined by a good sentry usage at this stage. A good sentry usage uh, preventing the escape of a couple zealots and then being able to turn the tide of a single battle. Coming back over here, Knight and does in fact have two sentries as well. So those two sentries will in fact be able to take down a fair amount of those buildings. Destructible rocks getting destroyed over here. All of those zealots unable to engage at the same time as these destructible rocks. Um, and you have to really uh, deal melee damage and not all those zealots can in fact get close to that right there. A single sentry now going to once again join in on this fight. The only ranged unit in this fight. Both sides destroying the destructible rocks. So we're going to have a really nice confrontation in the center of this field over here. Two sentries against two sentries. And we'll see what's going to be happening. Those destructible rocks didn't get destroyed. Down they go. And wow, what an interesting fight already. Force field is now being used. But no, a single file and does not want to push through that. That is a very, very dangerous choke point to being able to separate the rest of those armies. Mo these two sentries do not have enough energy for any additional force fields. White Rod dropping in some more uh, pylons for an additional warp gates. Running off of four gateways right now. Warp gates nearing completion. That upgrade. Knight and running through with the Zealot. That Zealot and uh, pretty much with the Death Wish. Going to run into that Zealot. Props will get two hi hits in. Oh, down to four hit points and that looks like that one Zealot will be able to get killed by one, this guy right there. Oh no! A little bit of a run pass there. Anyways, engagement right here. Nice force field usage. And both sides, and what, Knight and getting a nice force field usage. Able to really push back one of those units. So Knight and using those force fields fairly well. Gonna start another engagement perhaps. As now losing another Zealot. Taking a look at the army sizes. Knight and a little bit of, of, an, of an advantage position or a little bit has the advantage wow can't speak has the advantage at this stage in the game taking a look at the incomes however yeah pretty much balance it is just pure army size night end does in fact have more sentries though so those sentries will in fact play a very very large role eight sentries versus five sentries perhaps the those force fields if if you can get up to critical mass and perhaps get some um, hallucinations as well that will really work out well for night end being able to waste his time trying to take down some other units. White Raw now getting a couple stalkers as well. So those stalkers, um, the, they are now upgraded compared to patch 5. They now have a higher base damage, so they're better at taking on zealots and non-armored units. So we'll see how this particular confrontation really unfolds. Taking a look at this, one single pylon going to get taken down by two zealots. But no zealots going to be coming in trying to take down that poor zealot. We'll see what's going to be happening. Are we going to get some force fields? No force fields to push that back out. And we'll see once again what this engagement really looks like. Force field coming in. Oh, and poor two poor zealots coming in. And now uh, sentry is now trying to push back. So that one zealot going to get focused down on oh, those sentries. I don't know why they didn't stay there in order to protect that buddy uh, right there. Taking a look at the army sizes, once again, Knight End sitting at 2350 compared to White Ross 3000, but more sentries by Knight End. So definitely a little bit of an advantage for Knight End if he can get those that sentry usage off correctly. Those sentries, however, are constantly in the front of that fight. Not sure why 
that was the case and why did he just waste that energy for those force fields that was a complete waste of energy could have been better used for additional things oh my gosh okay warp prism now coming in so that's why so there's a warp prism that warped in some of these stalkers in this backside um, and they were able to pull back away so there what two immortals coming in sorry two immortals in, on in the backside of the bash force fields being placed in position in order to stop any of those reinforcements and this is looking really, really bad for Knight and Knight and being forced to just try to fight back in, in here. A couple of force fields down. And now all those units with force fields up on that north side as well. So both positions, both players are on a really, really bad position. Knight and choosing to move out at the, exactly the wrong time. Stay tuned for part two of this replay between White Raw and Knight and here on Scrap Station.